Now it's time to take a look behind the scenes at the making of the latest Walt Disney animated feature, Aladdin. The story of a lamb filled with magic, a boy filled with dreams, and a powerful genie that can make wishes come true. Why? Ten thousand years will give you such a crick in the neck. Aladdin is a classic story as old as time. What is it you want most? Can you make me a prince? Yes! This is based on the story of Aladdin, which is probably the most famous story of the Arabian Nights tales. It's about a poor kid, a kid from the streets. He's, he sort of lives by his wits. I'm in trouble. Then he falls in love with a beautiful princess. Wow. And there's an evil magician. He's a magical genie that can grant wishes. So what'll it be, Master? Aladdin gets the lamp, which seems like the greatest thing in the world, but Aladdin finds out that it's not quite as great as it might seem on the surface. Aladdin, Disney's 31st animated feature, is a stylistic breakthrough inspired by the mystical Middle East. Our influences come a lot from Persian miniatures, from Islamic calligraphy, from a lot of the design concepts from the 11th to the 14th or 15th century Persia. The designs of the characters in Aladdin were created in surprising ways. On every character that you're animating, no matter whether it's uh, a mermaid or a beast or an eagle or it's Aladdin, it has to be something that, that I've experienced personally. You know, one of the things that inspired me the most with Aladdin was Hammer's you Can't Touch This uh, video. I felt like, well, Aladdin has got to have that kind of spark. Ahead of the law, man. <laughs> The genie's supervising animator, Eric Goldberg, was influenced by the flowing S-curve drawing style of New Yorker caricaturist Al Hirschfeld and the frenetic performance of the voice of genie. But never duplicated, 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 duplicated. genie of the land. To have Robin Williams as, as uh, the guidepost for your animation is, is wonderful. He never had a friend like me. <laughs> so we're pulling out all the stops to make it a great animated equivalent of Robin's delivery. Don't they look lovely, June? Purple peacocks, he's got 15 Fabulous, Harry, I love the feathers. I can't take it anymore! Will Finn, the supervising animator of Iago, immediately pictured the look of the pesky parrot as soon as he heard the voice. When they cast Gilbert Gottfried, um, I mean, that really dictated what this character was going to look like. <laughs> gonna get a hold of that stupid lamp just forget it look at this look at this i'm so ticked off that i'm molting audiences may cringe at the screechy speech of iago but they will be enchanted by the original score by academy award-winning composer alan menken with lyrics by his oscar-winning partner the late howard ashman and tony award winner tim rice the inspiration really was this young romantically inclined couple flying around the world on a magic carpet. Unbelievable feeling. The process of superimposing a design pattern onto the hand-drawn flying carpet utilized one of the newest tricks of the trade, state-of-the-art computer technology. I'm enormously excited about the opportunity to really begin to explore what these computers and graphics things can do for us. All Disney character animation is drawn by hand, a frame at a time, using the traditional techniques pioneered by Walt Disney himself. But the new computer technology gives animators a new way to push the limits of their art. The computers are used just as a tool, just like another pencil or a paintbrush. Again, it's just one more tool in the arsenal of uh, making this elaborate magic trick believable and involving for the audience. It's easy to become involved with wonderful characters like Aladdin and Abu, Jasmine, Iago and Jafar, and an irrepressible genie. And this holiday season they'll take you on a magic carpet ride into a whole new world. In Walt Disney Pictures, Aladdin.